Hello, my name is Keith Jackson with iTech. The new TM5 Mini Eye Tracker works great with the Grid 2 using either iTech's legacy Quick Glance software or the new Quick Access software. In this video, I'd like to show you the powerful benefits the new Quick Access software offers for both young and adult users. In this demo, I would like to show you how you can toggle the cursor on and off, uh, which is great for um, any younger users or any user who would like to not have the cursor visible, you can toggle that back and forth. Uh, how it works inside the new Windows 8 uh, Metro UI, how it works inside the Grid 2, and look to learn programs. So let's get started. I'll launch the Quick Access software. A live view of the eyes will appear, or you can also toggle it back and forth um, between uh, avatar view or hit the camera to see the live view. There's a new animated calibration and quick access which makes it really nice for younger users. It helps capture their attention better and you can also change the icon so if you wanted to make that circle a dog or a cat or an airplane you can do that real easily. And then it shows how accurate the user was uh, with uh, two different colored lines. The smaller the line, the more accurate the user is. So now I'm uh, controlling the cursor with my eyes. There's new hotspots on uh, different areas of the screen. So if I look over the blue hotspot, I have my mouse tools, my calibration, scrolling. I can hit my Windows 8 button uh, here. And let me, uh, I think I'm using dwell right now. You can switch between dwell or blink. Blink Plus I prefer because it allows me to do a long blink for one second to do a double click automatically. Um, but very fast and accurate. This yellow hotspot up here has a lot of tools for controlling your media. Um, if you're using Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or, or other programs, uh, here's cut, copy, paste, select all, print, save. A lot of great tools and then I can uh, automatically close programs uh, with my red hotspot or maximize or left screen things and then I have my other scrolling or page down features as well as uh, my internet browsing tools backwards forwards favorites and uh, so we'll go ahead and launch the grid too. First if I don't want the cursor present I can just hit the mouse cursor invisible there and then I just have a ho hover uh, feature inside the grid. Uh, so I can chat with family and friends. I can browse the web. And say I wanted to you know, check my Facebook page. And perhaps I wanted to see the cursor in here. I can just go over my blue hotspot, reactivate and now I can see the cursor again. Um, so some nice powerful benefits. One other cool feature inside the grid too is I click on that links button. Any link that's in this page is now present so I can select uh, the like button easily and uh, see the full story link, things like that. So go back and say I wanted to close this program and go to another program and just hit the red X and it closes. The last thing I wanted to show you uh, is look to learn which is fun program for kids works great with quick access uh, this explorer program uh, is great for cause and effect and really helping train the kids that are using this for the first time on how to use eye gaze to direct select and if I want to close this program I just hit the red X Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. It also works great in the Windows 8 Metro UI, checking your favorite stocks or um, controlling other media such as uh, Netflix or reading your Kindle books, things like that. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, info at itechds.com or call me and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.